Right, guys, we are here again. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We are waiting for others to join too. Today is another session for the great woman of God to make an impact in the kingdom of God. Um, last time we were here, we talked about favor and today we are here we are talking about favor and faith so if you're online you can share with others because it is gonna be fire fire right now it's gonna be fire thank you father so mommy you want to pray quick so that we we, we start yes okay Father, we just thank you for your presence. Father, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your word. Mm -hmm. We thank you for what you're doing, Father, in the lives of others. We thank you for this revival and what we've seen you do here. Father, we thank you that people that are viewing, Lord, I believe that you're going to move upon them today. You're going to bring a, a faith lift, yes. an increase yes. of faith, Father, even to their situations, yes. that you would move upon them mightily today. Yes. Father, we praise you and we thank you for favor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, um, I'm doing a watch party, so I think you can also do a watch party. Okay. So, I don't care. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Let me know when it's time. All right. Let's see this. <laughs> My mom is talking here. Okay. learning okay thank you guys for joining I see a lot of people joining right now I see um, Apostle Eric Perry I've seen it Shanti I've seen um, a lot of people are coming online right now Can invite others to join us. We're going to have a, another session of favor. I'm excited. I am excited too. Being here with Rundy Adjaman. I am, I am already running yes. on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have had a great revival here in West Palm Beach tonight, That's right. so last night. That's right. That's and right. And we have just seen God, the, we've seen the hand of God move. Mm -hmm been awesome. I believe God's Amazing. had a miracle for you today. Yes. Pray your faith is lifted through this today. Amen. Amen. So um, while we are waiting for others to join, um, you can also share, invite others because I believe God is going to touch somebody's life through this media and also this session of talking about faith and 
favor. It's gonna be my glory, and I can't wait to receive my testimony. So, last time that we were here, we were discussing about favor. So we are gonna do a recap about some of the things that we we, we talk about, and then we will take it from there. We already shared a word of prayer with you, so open your heart. Apostle Lisa is a great woman of God that God is using in the kingdom of God, making impacts around the globe. I mean, you need to you need to you need to search her. You need to look for her. go on her YouTube her website, and then you will check her out. She has a great phenomenal ministry, and she works in this dynamic anointing of miracles grace, favor, I just name it, all right, so last time she, was made, she made mention of um, nobody can teach something they don't know, so you can only teach what you know, therefore we are here because she brought a book out and the book, the title is Finding Favor, and it's a powerful book, I've read it, the book is so powerful, like the anointing behind the book is is unimaginable. So we are here for him, for her to expand and also touch some other various um, parts where I'm going to be asking her questions. And then if you also have a question, you can type your question and then I'll um, let her know, read it, and then she will answer your question. So last time, mommy, uh, we will do a recap. So that those who couldn't catch up last time can also uh, get to know what we are, whatever we are talking about. Okay. So last time, what was your definition? I mean, last time you talked about favor and you define favor. So for those who were not here and now they are watching us online, what is favor? Well, favor is the, um, the breath of God and the amen of God on someone's life. It is also unmerited grace. Okay. Favor is the breath of God. And the amen of God. And the amen of God on someone's life. Last time you said that God used favor to bring forth what he has put inside of you. Yes. Favor is given for to bring forth what God has called you to do. And, wow. and when favor favor is needed, mm -hmm. especially in the body of Christ when we are moving forward as the Lord leads us in the things that he's called us to do, whether you're a missionary, a, mm -hmm. a pastor, an evangelist, a, a Sunday school teacher, yes. you need favor if you're a wife. Wow. You need favor if you're a husband. You need favor as a mother. You know, whatever it is, you need favor. We all need the favor of God. And Proverbs 3 and 4 says, you shall find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. So favor is to be found. And when the Lord spoke to me, Randy, to write this book, he spoke. You can only teach what you know, and you only know what you've experienced. And he said, you've experienced my favor. He said, so teach the people to walk in my favor and release the anointing thereof. Wow. So we can walk in favor and have favor with God and favor with man, but we can also have an anointing of favor that comes upon us. And when it comes upon us, it is an incredible grace of God that brings forth whatever you need to bring forth what he has put in you. I, I hope you heard it, right? Listen, this woman of God works in this type of grace that I think... <laughs> You need to really, really, really get close to her for you to understand it. Because sometimes we feel like we are, we are favored, but from the way she testifies and the things that that kind of favor has come upon her life and the testimonies, because I believe whenever God releases a certain type of anointing on you, there is fruit that you see. Yes. And what are some of the things that when this favor came upon you, you can testify so that somebody can believe that when favor is working in life, favor can really do this stuff. What are some of the things that when God started giving you favor, it has really, really like, you can say, wow, this is favor. Like, this is, this, this is the doing of God. What are some of the things that happen? 
Well, um, we've had several buildings that we've been able to acquire through the favor of God. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if someone's watching and you're doing ministry and, and you're struggling, you need the favor of God. The favor will be given to you, and it will bring forth what you need, even if it's a building for ministry. And so one of the one of the ministry buildings that um, that that we were purchasing, we've had several give to us, mm -hmm. but there was a building with loading docks, and we needed needed it for our food distribution mm -hmm. for the semis. And so it had three loading docks, so we were so excited, mm -hmm. and we wanted this building. And so uh, they were asking um, six hundred thousand dollars for the facility, mm -hmm. and so I prayed and I said, Lord, I ask you to give me the wisdom. And I ask you to give me favor mm -hmm. with the business owner. And you give me the business plan that you would want me to submit to him. That's right. As we put in our request for the property. And so as I began to pray, the Lord spoke to me to ask him if he would let us have the building for three months rent free. That's right. And then if it worked for for what we were doing, mm -hmm. then we could purchase it for $395,000. And so that's a big difference yes. uh, in the price, $200,000, $205,000. And so as I submitted it to him, I said, this is what we'll do. And he said, why would I do that? <laughs> and so he said, I will get back with you. And he just kind of looked at me because he said with this price, firm. And he did his firm. hands like this, firm. You can't believe nobody. <laughs> firm. And so, but God... <laughs> So we just said, Lord, give us favor with him. And you know we need to build them for the loading docks to be able to unload the semis for our food distributions. And so then about two days later, I was praying. I was in prayer. And I felt that anointing of favor that comes on me. And when it comes on you, it's like Christmas time. Like Christmas time. And you know that God's going to do something that is phenomenal. Mm. You, don't know, you don't know what. Mm. You never know what, but he's going to do something awesome. My God. So immediately when that came on me, the owner of that building, that property, called me. And he said, I talked to my CPA. And he said, our accountant, we, we don't know why we would do this, <laughs> but we're going to do this. Later I found out that the price that he owed on the facility was the price that God had me ask him. Three hundred and ninety-five thousand. He was selling it for six hundred thousand. Wow! But God had spoke to me to pay off of the building, so He took it, and we were able to enter the building, and it was just an incredible thing because this goes further. Yeah. When I first went to look at the facility, I looked up, and there was three flagpoles, one high in the middle and two lower ones. And I looked, and I saw a Christian flag. Mm -hmm. I looked back, and I didn't see it. And I said, Lord, I know I saw a Christian flag on that center pole. Now, this is one reason that I believe that he came down $200,000. So I'm looking through, and I'm walking with two of my board of directors. We're walking through the facility. It's 26,000 square feet, three loading docks, has nine offices. Yes. Perfect for what we're doing for our distribution. So I'm walking through it. I'm just seeing, and the Lord's showing me and giving me clear vision of how he wants us to set it up. So mm -hmm. I'm like, this is it. So then we get around through the whole facility. We step out. Now, I didn't tell my board of directors I see a Christian flag. Okay. But there's no flags on the poles. Uh -huh. And so he looks at me, and he said, I said, what do you think? And he said, well, I think this is it. And I said, I do too. And he said, and we need to do this, and we need to do this, we need to get this, and we need to get a Christian flag and put on that pole. And so I was like, wow. So this was one of the prudent businessmen that was one of my board of directors, not very, yeah. he wasn't yeah. a very spiritual yes. man, but he was a very prudent businessman. And it takes all talks with the board that you need. Jesus, right. The variety of that to be able to, to bring forth the, what the vision is so then so I'm talking to the gentleman mm -hmm. and one day after we had purchased it you know he called me and he's like how is everything going I said wow this building works just wonderfully for what we're doing mm -hmm. and I'm so you know appreciative of you coming down on the price we're very thankful for it 
We pray that God blesses you. He said, I'm going to tell you a story. He said, your office that you're in, I'm sure, is was my office. Because it was the largest <laughs> office. And I said, yes, sir. And he said, if you look out that window, you can see the three flags mm -hmm. that's on the pole. And I said, yes, sir. And he said, well, he said, when I opened that facility as a business, mm -hmm. he said, the Lord spoke to my heart and told me to put a Christian flag on the highest pole. Wow. The American flag, the state flag, and the Christian flag. He said three people stopped to say you could not have a Christian flag hanging where the American flag is supposed to be. He said, but I know that through this, the three flags, he said, I had three battles. He said, one, I didn't believe I would get through it. He said, I'm just saying, I didn't think I would make it. It didn't look like I was going to make it. He said, but every time I would look out my window, I would see that Christian flag. And the Lord reminded me, because I put him first above all things, that he would bring me through the battle. I said, you may not believe this, but the first thing that I saw when I went and looked at this building was I saw a Christian flag. He said, well, we had removed the flags from the poles. I said, I saw a Christian flag on the center mm. pole. So he said, well, someday I'm going to have to come down and show you. He came down. He had the drawing of the facility and sketched around the drawing was the Christian flag. So not only did God bless us to get a building and save us $205,000, but he gave us the building that we knew that we knew that we knew that we knew wow. that we knew that we knew we were supposed to be in. So the man was touched and we were touched through his obedience mm -hmm. and it brought a blessing to us. And also, he's seen in the long run, it was a blessing for him. So that's the favor of God. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, guys, um, you know, I always tell um, people that everything has a principle. If what you're doing is not working, it's okay to let the old ideas go and learn new ideas. Yes. All right? The word of God is given to us as children of God to study. You go to school to be taught about so many things. Now, this man of God, because sometimes we, we quote stuff like I have the favor of God, and you might say something that you don't even understand what you're saying. That's why I always say that we should get understanding. All you're getting, get understanding. Yes. Get understanding. Because the moment understanding comes, now the benefit of whatever you're saying, you are in expectancy for that. You, you say something here, you said faith and favor. And you said someone, you said you can have faith in God and not have favor. Listen, you can have faith in God and not have favor. How is that possible? Okay. You can have faith and not have favor. But you cannot have favor and not have faith. <laughs> because we have faith. And the Lord measures out to each of us a different measure of faith. faith. Yes. And as we go through our journey, we go through things, and God allows us to go through things, mm -hmm. that will test our faith. Mm -hmm. He tested Abraham's faith. He tests Hezekiah's faith. Mm -hmm. He will test your faith. He's tested my faith. Yes. He still tests my faith. Okay. So you can have faith. And believe God for many things, but not have the favor of God on your life. Wow. But when you have the favor of God, there is no way you cannot not have faith. You will have faith when you have favor because favor will bring you into a whole other realm of believing God. You will see the hand of God and the breath of God and the amen of God on everything that he has called you to do. And that? that favor, when it comes, your faith will increase. When favor comes, your faith will increase. Because when you are expecting something, let's say you apply for a job, and there was no chance that you're going to get the job, 
and God favors you. It makes it, it boosts your faith. It does. It gives you a faith work. Wow. Listen, listen. Everybody needs favor. Last time that we were here, you said something about Esther. That favor brought her in a position of vastly. Can you, you know, go a little bit deeper? Okay. Here Vashti was the queen. And when the king called for Vashti to come to the royal banquet, a dinner, she didn't go. Yes. So she was disobedient. Okay. So the king said, I'm going to send you away because you don't, you're not honoring me. Hmm. You're not obedient to me. Mm -hmm. So here was Esther. She was an orphan. Mm -hmm. She was raised by her cousin Mordecai. Yes. She didn't really have much, mm -hmm. but she loved God. Okay. She was a submissive woman. Okay. She was a obedient woman. Are you taking notes? And she was a woman that loved God, and she was a woman of prayer and fasting. So she was a woman that loved God. She was a woman of prayer and fasting. So some of you that you just think yes, I just got favor. No, 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 no. There are other things that she added to, that 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 contributed to the favor. Yeah. Wow. I've never looked at it that way. And because of that, God favored her, and. Out of all the young virgins, the beautiful young virgins that was handpicked and selected throughout that country, brought in for the choosing of the king to make the next queen. She was favored over all the women, over all the women. Because the favor was on her, it saved her people. Hmm. So... In other words, we cannot put so much emphasis on our own efforts. Because it is the favor of God. It, it's not about our intellect, our degrees. It's, it's not about the family that we came from. Um, it's not even the house that we live in. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not your, your financial status or anything like that. That's right. It's to do with the call that is upon your life. The call that is upon your life, God will give you everything you need to be able to bring it forth. Favor is given to bring forth the vision and the dream that God has put in you. Listen, I'm so excited right now. Like I'm so, that's your know, last time that you, you, you made this statement, I started thinking about it. And now you keep repeating it. I'm, I'm thinking about it more like, Favor is given to you by God to bring forth the vision He has placed inside of you. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how you are anointed. It doesn't matter how gifted you are. If God doesn't give you favor, whatever you carry on the inside, nobody will recognize it. It is favor that will cause men to help you to bring forth that vision. So this statement is so true. Let me tell you something. It's very true. If God doesn't favor you, Nobody wants to associate with you. Yeah. If God does not favor you, you can go any. Let's say you can give all the revelations you have. People will be looking at you like a tree. The Bible says Jesus grew in stature. Yes. And he had favor with God. Even Jesus had favor with God and with men. Yes. So if you're listening to us, favor is very, very important. Maybe you apply, no matter what you do, nobody wants to associate with you. You go here, they deny you. You do this, they deny you. Relationship, your partner doesn't want to see your face. Listen, it's not everything that is prayer and fasting. You've been praying and fasting, nothing is working. You need favor. There is something you are doing wrong. And she said, you can never teach what you don't know. This woman has been working in a dynamic anointing of favor that I've been here for a week. And I have seen the things that God has given to her through favor for free. Things that money can never, things that it would take years to achieve. Favor brought it to her easily. So she is here. And, I, and, and I'm like, you know, can, can I have the opportunity to interview you so that you can share at least just a little bit 
So somebody can tap into this grace. And God spoke to her that write about these experiences that I have given you. And she came up, up she came up with this book, Finding Favor. I read it, I couldn't put it down. It's about almost how many pages are uh, 200? Not even 200. Just 100, and, 100 pages. Yeah. You can finish in the day. But the content is so good to the point that it just it jumpstarts your faith. It makes your faith like a little kid. You, you it will take you to this whole new realm that you believe that <laughs> anything is possible. Go get this book, Finding Favor. It's on Amazon, it's on uh, Apostle Lisa, her website. Listen, check it out, guys. When I read it, I found out, wow, now I know why this is this. Now I know why. Because things don't just happen. No, no. And God puts a vision in you in a dream. And you may have the gift. You may have the talent. You may even have the anointing. But until you have the favor, the favor speeds up the process. Listen, you heard it? The favor speeds up the process. I have seen... A lot of people that are struggling in ministry. Yeah. They are struggling in the academics. They are they have finished school, but they can't find a job. But when favor locates you, it will speed up the process. Yes. If you are a young minister and you are struggling in ministry, when favor locates you, it will speed up the process. It wouldn't matter whether you have uh, credentials or you don't. Favor can pick you from the back and place you on the front. Yeah. Listen, you need this book. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Go on Amazon and order yours because she can she just give few you know just the eyes the, the, the iceberg the tip of the iceberg but even the tip of the iceberg it's like what this book is so good I didn't know because sometimes things will be happening in my life. And you know, you, you might take it for granted, and you would you you wouldn't know that it it is a divine thing that is backing you up. Yeah. Well, you know, in one of the chapters, Brandy, that the Lord gave me in here was um, Mary's mandate, mm -hmm. and um, this is very important because Mary was highly favored, and she was a woman also of prayer and obedience. We have to be wow. obedient to the Word of God, and we have to be prayer to have the relationship. Because being a Christian is not about the religion, it's about the relationship, relationship. with Christ. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when, when the angel came to Mary, he said, Mary, highly favored of God. And then he gave her the message that she would carry the Son of God. That's the favor of God. Now, what made her different? It was her mandate. Wow. Mary's mandate is a the chapter mandate. in here. The life of Mary is not preached or taught as it really should yes. because it's it's amazing what Mary was called to do hmm. and what she carried out so that Christ could be born and carry out his command and you have a command or a call an assignment that is upon your life each one of us has something that we're to do to make the world a better place to bring people into into knowing Christ. If each one of you will ask the Lord, give me your favor that you speak of. Favor is all throughout the Bible. Favor. It's about taking that word of Proverbs 3, 4, so shall I find favor, finding favor with God and favor with man. Favor will give you access to the throne room. Hmm. It will give you access to the storehouse. Favor will give you what money can't buy you. It will bring you into platforms with people that have influence that you can be the voice or the oracle of God to speak what he wants to have spoken oh to a nation, to a community, oh even to a person. It's very important. Get the book. It's on Amazon, Finding Favor, Lisa Elliott. You can also go to our website, Lisa Elliott ministries.com if, if you don't know how to get it just you can inbox me i will show you where to get it yes. i'm telling you guys this is a secret you don't know why every relationship you get into you t things don't just happen life is spiritual i'm telling you life is spiritual 
There are things that goes on around you, your ministry, your finances, your marriage that you don't even understand. But when God's favor is on you, you, you said something right now that the angel came to Mary and said, you are highly. Yes, there's different levels. You, the love highly favored. There's different levels. And, oh, and I didn't know that until a couple months ago. We had went to Tomball, Texas to release my book at Joe Hunter's ministry. After that, we went over to Joel Olstein's church. I was with one of my spiritual daughters there. And the Lord said, I have given me another level of favor, an increase of favor. Hmm. I said, wow, can you have more favor? Yeah. This is awesome. And so when the Lord spoke that, I began to see larger doors open. I also got to talk to Joel uh, you know, Olstein there, God just opened up doors of favor mm -hmm, and blessing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and God began to allow doors to open in bookstores for my books uh, to be available to the people, yes. because this is a tool that's needed. I'm not selling a book for me. Yes. I am selling you a key mm -hmm. to expedite your future and to bring you into the will and the plan of God that you can super succeed anything you've done in the past because favor will bring you revelation, it'll bring you finances, it'll bring you relationships that you never dreamed that you would be in That's right. with people of influence because it takes people of influence to be able to put you on platforms that you reach more people. That's right. You can have a great message, but if nobody knows you, or knows the you know that's right the vision you're never going to be able to give it out it's, it's, it's so true it's so very true. important it's so true even jesus christ needed john the baptist yes to announce him to the world exactly trust me you no no man's on an island jesus needed john the baptist to announce him for people to anticipate who is coming we need favor. We all need people. People do not realize, realize that this is all about relationships. And you never know who you're going to come in contact with and have favor with that's tied to your destiny or holds a key to your destiny. Or you may hold a key to their destiny. So when favor comes, it draws people. It will cause people to like you. It will cause people to bless you, mm -hmm. and it will cause people to open doors for you. And uncommon favor, uncommon, uncommon favor. favor, is another level that you will have favor. I'm, I'm telling you, it will be unbelievable. In one week, I was able to have personal uh, time with uh, Dr. John... Uh, Cho? Yeah. Cho? Yeah, Yonggi Cho. Yes, Yonggi Cho. With the largest church in the world, he sat down for three hours and talked to me. Listen, listen, listen. I, I like the testimony because the testimony is actually like... <laughs> and that down. week, I was able to step into the home Yonggi of Prophet Cho. Kiki Joshua. He put me on television the next day to be able to speak forth to Ghana. Not only that, that week, we were able to be in contact and sit down. And I'm not talking about being in services. No, it's I'm not talking direct about to the direct, power. yes, uncommon favor. And I've even had people look at me and say, you found favor with me. I've had people look at me and say, I don't know why, but I'm giving you this. I'm going to do this for you. You know. So, listen. It's, it's just God. If, if somebody says, I don't know why, and I'm doing this for you, don't just take that for granted. It means that you have found favor. It is favor that is working in your life. But and don't reject until it. You, until you know, you might think, oh, things are just happening. That's why we study the word of God to know what, what kind of spirit is working in my life right now. Like where I am right now. And there is the spirit called the spirit of favor. Like Mary, I just said you are highly favored. You are among women. women. Among women. Highly favored among so women. So God can choose somebody and over favor the person to the point that no matter how you don't like the person, they will still get what they want. That is favor. And no matter how talented, gifted, or good you are, until favor finds you and locates you, nobody will know you. Can I say this? Yes. Yesterday. And I was listening to a certain man of God, and he said something. He said, if you're going to depend 
said, he said if you are a woman and you're going to depend on how um, togetherness you, you, you are put together, you know, then you are in for a shock. If you're going to depend on your physical assets, that because I have this and that, or your credentials or your ability, or if you're a guy, you're going to depend on those, and because of that, God should favor you, you are in for a shock. He said, until God decides to favor you, you nobody will know that you exist. Like you, you will be asking yourself, why, why, how come men can see me? I see many people that walk in favor that they're ordinary people, as myself. Yeah. Very ordinary person. I'm a very ordinary person. But when that favor comes up on you, God will bring the most ordinary. And he will do the most extraordinary Jesus things Christ. through you with the favor, with his favor. Because favor will bring you from ordinary to extraordinary. I'm, I'm so excited. We have, we have a lot of people that are watching us right now. And I know you tune in for a reason. Don't let anything tell you that I will log out. Because this one of God works in tangible. Not people that talk about, I have come here, I've been with her for a week in Florida. And I have seen the favor of God in her life. This I don't just come here and talk and exaggerate. I'm somebody that I used to be very, very challenging. Like, I am, in, I am very, very inquisitive. I want to know if this thing works for real. Yes. That is me. I don't, I'm sick and tired of your miracles around the corner, around the corner. And we've been waiting on this corner. We can't find that miracle. You know, show me where the corner is. And I can the go demonstration of the right. power I want God. to see this God that yeah. you, are, you are talking about. Because when we read the Bible, and God favored these people, and it was real. Like, it was so real. They can go to kings. They don't, they don't have to even have access. They walk in, and somebody like, it looks like I know you. What do you want? And then they just grab you. That's what favor does. Yes. The same God is working right now. The same God. The Bible says, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Favor is still working today. But until somebody teaches you how to do it, you cannot do it. And that's why God has raised Apostle Lisa. Because she has experienced the favor of God. And God told her specifically, write about this experience. So people can also know that I do this. Look at the statement she said. Mary, you are highly favored. There is favor and there is high level of favor. That woman, among all the women on earth, God located one woman. And she said something about Esther. And a commoner. Nobody knew her. And God favored her and made her queen in a foreign land. In a foreign land. And it saved a nation. I remember years ago, oh, I, was, I was cleaning house. And the Lord spoke to me. I had I'd stopped and I, I took my Bible and I opened it. And it turned to Esther chapter 1. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, I've given you the same favor as I gave Queen Esther. Ah. And I said, wow, Lord, she saved a nation. And he said, so shall be it's too powerful god will give you favor to bring you before men before women and bring you into a platform or media social media mm -hmm. to be able to speak what god has spoke to you and he'll speak through you to the people because until and favor brings access. Yes, until until you say something that no matter how talented you are. Because I've seen a lot of people, musicians. Yes, a lot. Um, they have uh, from women. They have different ideas. That's like nobody is finding what they are doing. I have, I've seen young evangelists. They need like favor. Preachers. They need favor. You need favor. You can you can be angry. Let me tell you this. I told one one guy. I said. Anything that upsets you is what God has called you to solve. But until someone gives you access, yeah. you, they will never, you, no one will know that you exist. Favor is a force that comes upon you. And she said, I like it. Favor comes to bring forth the vision in you. Yes. And when favor comes, he said, she said, it speeds up the process. Yes, it does. And, and I'm going to tell you something. Favor was given to Noah to bring mm -hmm. forth an ark. To be able to repopulate the earth. Oh my God. I just want to go and lie down and just. <laughs> <laughs> and then favor was given to David. <laughs> oh God.
God. To rule the kingdom. Yes. He had favor among all the lineup in the family. When they went to visit the house of Jesse to anoint one of the men as king, they didn't even put him in the lineup. Some of you feel like, I'm not gifted enough. I'm not uh, educated enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know enough. Let me tell you, God chose David out of all the others in the family because he knew that even though he was a shepherd boy, the Bible says he was a runt, meaning shorter mm -hmm. than the other men. He chose him because he knew what was in his heart. My God. He chose him because he knew what was in his heart. Joseph was given favor by his dad, given a coat of many colors. Hmm. It caused him trouble. Mm. Favor brings opposition. Oh, that's favor brings that opposition. It'll cause people to be jealous. They'll hate you because of what God does through you and the things that God does for you. And it's sad because if you want favor, God will give you favor. Believe it. And this book will teach you how to receive the favor of God. There's many scriptures in the Bible that I have put in this book that will teach you how to walk in the favor of God. I want to say hi to Dr. Tony Slay mm -hmm. that is joining us. Um, Dr. Tony Slay from Minister International. Mm -hmm. That's the Bible Colleges. Hello, Tony. Hello, Lakeisha Foxworth. She is an awesome lady of God. Ingrid mm -hmm. Webb. Oh, wow. Curtis Moore. Thank you for watching. Liz. Oh, my cousin Liz, all the way from Campbell County in Tennessee. Oh, thanks for watching in. Um, Wow, Covenant Family Chapel in Ghana mm. has joined us. Uh, Leonard Bolton, uh, there's so many on there. Loretta, thank you, uh, Hammond, for being able. Buster, my good friend Buster Brewer. Wow, um, Simone, so good to see you on here and hope that you are being blessed. Yes. Some of you know the favor because I see a few on here that's walked with us in ministry over the years. And some of you have seen the favor of God and what he's done for the ministry and how he just um, catapulted us that's right. from a barn to a two and a half million dollar facility <laughs> from going to one location to four counties, mm -hmm. from four counties to four nations to 10 nations yes. and how God just favored us to be able to help so many people. We had over 500 people come to Christ the first three months My that God. we were open because people favored the place we were at. People came from afar. They even came from other states to get the help they needed. Hmm. And so God gives favor. Amen. Amen. I want to say, I want to um, call out these people's name. Um, I'm seeing original Rose. I'm seeing Grace Love, Tani, Papa Collins, Bernard Ushu and Son, Princess Pratt, uh, and Gus and Gusra, Bismarck, Agnes, joking. Hey, this is Agnes. How are you doing? Um, Charles K. I'm seeing Evangelist Jones, Ajimandria. Hey, my brother. Ah. He's a great, awesome preacher in Ghana. Amazing. I'm seeing Nia Lee. How Nia? How are you? I'm seeing uh, Joseph Boadu, Sherry Paris. I'm seeing my name, Chan, Oyusu, Fanet, Testimony, Frank. Hey, my brother, he's a good <laughs> drama. And uh, I'm seeing an Edmund Boateng, Jomo, Mami, AC, Alexa, Grace, Dolly. I think we have Ghana with us. A lot of people. We have Africa with us. I Mami love Africa. the worshiper. Yeah, we're so glad to see everybody. <laughs> see oh, Mami it's Koko, awesome. Everybody, God bless all of you for joining us. I know you're getting blessed. We have about uh, 15 minutes to run up because we have our last night of the revival yes. going here in florida west palm beach we are having a wonderful time it's it's, it's amazing like i, I can't sleep because the the, <laughs> the the anointing and the revelation that is coming is too much it's so tangible and i've been receiving a lot, a lot. and the worship the worship is randy i'm telling you god how he uses you amen. Um, amen. it has been amazing the worship just just setting the atmosphere for the presence of God, for the people coming into this revival mm -hmm. and being touched by God through the word, the revelation of the word, um, the worship, it has been phenomenal. The prayers that's went out for these people, yes. we've seen God just touch so many. Tonight's the last night. Yes. And uh, we're here at the uh, Sanctuary House of Prayer. That's right. So if you're in West Palm Beach, 
or your close drive by. Listen, you're gonna meet God. I'm telling you, God will encounter you in a very, very unique way. It's amazing. Yes. Mommy, can we talk about favor brings opposition? Because somebody might be feeling attacked at her job or um, a position or probably relationship. No. And then this thing is going on, she might not understand. Could it be that it's because the person has found favor, that is why? Yes. Um, I know people that have favor that uh, they do encounter opposition you know, in the workplace because a lot of people will be jealous because one, they will get promotions. Okay. They will be promoted. And a lot of times, you know, I, even in banking, when I was, um, you know, in corporate world before ministry, you know, I was, I, every year I got a raise, I got promotions. It wasn't long, I was in bank management. Mm -hmm. And I know it was just the favor of God. It was speeding you it was, up. It speeds you up and you'll pass people up, especially those that, don't understand the things of God. Yeah, so you I need see. to have favor and get the understanding of what favor is. And so here, this, you know, someone could be in a position where they're like, I don't understand why I'm getting this opposition mm -hmm. and this conflict by people when I'm nice to them. Well, a lot of times the opposition that favor brings can be jealousy. Oh. You know, I've had that encounter with, you know, other ministers and stuff and it's sad because God gives us favor, you know, not for kingdoms, but for kingdoms. God not for kingdoms, but for kingdoms. Yes. <laughs> because we're either building our own kingdom or we're building God's, God's kingdom. kingdom. And we want to build God's kingdom. That's why we continue to go. That's right. We do mission work. That's we right. go to other countries. That's you right. do worship. That's you right. preach. That's right. You do whatever God speaks for you That's to do. Right. I do also whatever the Lord speaks for us mm. to do, whether to go into orphanages or whatever. So the favor is given to build the kingdom, and it's not for kingdom. So people have a misconception of favor, mm. and they say, oh, I want favor for things. But favor is given to build the kingdom of God. So the favor that's on my life is not because I'm good, or it's not because um, of anything other than God knows my heart, mm -hmm. And as I was a little girl, giving me the vision to go to the nations to bring the gospel to people that are lost and to bring a revival. He gave me that favor to speed me up to go through with the feeding ministry, the distributions, all the things we've done. Favor was given for not for me, but for the people that he entrusted me to. Wow. I want to recognize a, a, a particular man of God. He's a friend to Nana Perku. And he's, he's in Ghana. Uh, Assemblies oh. of God. Oh, bless you, brother. He, 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 I am gone in. <laughs> he's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> Praise he's God. Amazing. We honor you. We honor you. Yeah, and I want to say uh, hi to um, Anna mm -hmm. Bistrium. She was my assistant for a long time. Wow. Uh, she's a world traveler, and she's an incredible lady. Traveled with Mama Lindsay, and then we were favored to have her travel with me and be with me in the office in the ministry and hello Anna we love you we bless you amazing amazing um, we are going to talk about that uh, fever by association yes no. can you uh, go uh, about it a little bit yes favor by because association I like the, the chapter three no actually uh, chapter four chapter we talk four. about fever fever by association Okay, favor. Oh, yeah, favor by association. Um, well, well, I know that when I went to Ghana, I didn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. But when I was spoken to by prophet that I would be on the platform of the Archbishop's Church, mm -hmm. then I remembered that the Archbishop had preached at a conference I went to. Um, woman, thou art loose. Mm -hmm. One of uh, Bishop T. D. Yes. Jakes. Yes which is my favorite conference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been going since 1999 and I love it. Uh, I knew that he had been one of the speakers there, so the name rang the bell. And so I just got to Ghana, they took me there, and immediately God gave me access. Favor brings access. Mm. So I had access to go into his office and to meet him after he finished his service. And right when I went in there, he even spoke to me the next day, you have found favor with me. Wow. So being with Papa and training under him for a year, going back there and the 18 trips that I went there, mm -hmm. 
being with Papa and associated with the Archbishop, then I had fav favor by association. Yes. Because I was associated with a man that was so great, you know, one of the generals, mm -hmm. well, the general of strategic, mm -hmm. strategic prayer. Yes. yes. Then my driver that was with me began to walk in favor because he was associated with me. Wow. And I had favor because I was associated with Papa. <laughs> So I remember here, Abraham, the driver, now he is a minister mm -hmm. at the Action Chapel Church. He does the French church at Action Chapel. When I met him, he was a driver. But favor, the favor that was upon me mm -hmm. came upon him, and I began to pour in him and to deposit him the word of God and the, the things of God and the understanding of the word he began to get. Then God moved him into coming from a driver to a pastor. So he had favor because he was associated with me. That's right. Favor by association. And I told him one day, you know why you walk in the favor of God? Because you have favor by association. You know why I walk in such favor in Ghana? Because I'm associated with the archbishop. So favor by association. You want to hang with people bigger than you. They'll cause you to grow. You want to be associated with the right people at the right time at the right place. People with favor will bring you into access. That's right. That's and they right. there will be access given to you through people that you're with that walk in the favor of God. And then you'll see the favor with men. Guys, I wish we have more time. Yes. <laughs> but we have to go and get ready for our evening service. The revival is continuing. Let me tell you something here. Whenever uh, you can't reach a certain man of God that you really admire what's on their life, the anointing is also in their materials. Yes. You know, let me just interrupt yes. for just a yes. second because yes. I want to say this. Go ahead. Here we sit in one of God's general's houses. Yes. This is his office. Mm -hmm. Our pop, the pastor, C.S. up to grow. Yes. Here we are sitting in a place where he wrote many books, mm -hmm. the house that many of the great men of God have been in. Mm -hmm. He pastored the church for A.A. A. Allen. Mm -hmm. They were friends with, with William Branham. Mm -hmm. You know, they had such favor on their lives. Yes. Favor by association, but they also were given the favor of God because what God had put in them. God gave them favor to bring forth the ministry. Yes. Pastor Uptergrove, here we are sitting on his couch amazing. in this house. Now, I've been here two weeks, and I've been able to be so blessed. We have had impartations. We have had habitations. Yes. We have had an incredible time here, and I believe that this is the favor of God that we're sitting here today. I'm so excited because I got a chance. I, I, I read about this great general, you know, Smith. Wigglesworth, and then A. Allen, uh, or Roberts, and then um, C.S. Lewis, I, I read his book too, yes. and then C.S. of the Grove. And here his very piano that he played. His piano. I was here playing it. I said, Lord, my, it was like I was in this museum <laughs> of the great general. You know, it's my favor that I got to be here to experience, had a chance to meet his wife personally and prayed and over she you prayed over me wow i mean that is the most priceless gift i could ever get from anywhere just imagine this man has walked in this supernatural grace of god unthinkable unimaginable when he's preaching and lightning and angels are appearing physically and at his office that's where we are right now doing this like yes listen i know that Sometimes, when you admire somebody on TV and you can't reach them, I know the anointing sometimes is, there, is in their material. The Word of God was written, and when you read it, you are encountering God and the power behind it. This book is so powerful. It's so powerful that when you read it, the anointing comes and rests on you. And it begins to cause you to walk under the influence of whatever the book is talking about. Because the person that wrote it works in that grace. So I want to encourage everybody. Go get this book. 
friendly feedback by our customer leads are in there. It's on Amazon, it's on her website. When we are done, that's the name that I tagged her. Search her out. Follow her on Instagram. Follow her everywhere. She speaks in so many conferences. A lot of people travel from far country and near to come under her ministry to be blessed and be touched. Sometimes you just need one touch of God. Oh, I want to say too hi to um, Pastor Upper Grove's grand um, granddaughter, Angel. Mm -hmm. Angel, hello! It's so good <laughs> that you're watching. And also, Pastor Upper Grove's daughter, Ellen. So, uh, Ellen, hello! We're taking hi, good care of your mother here. <laughs> <laughs> we're making sure we're spoiling her well. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, we're so thankful for all the people that's watching. There's mm -hmm. so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, Craig Durrance, it's so good to see you on here. And Gordon Brooks, um, it's good to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Princess. She's joined us. She'll wow. be here tonight at the service. Okay. Billy, all the way, wow, from Brazil has joined us. Wow. And Billy and Pastor Brenda. And the mission team is in Brazil while we're here. Wow. And they are just having a, an incredible move of God there mm -hmm. in Brazil. And we say hello and we salute you as you're doing the work of the Lord. Uh, there's so many people on there. But, yes, we have to go because we have yes. an outpouring revival here at the Sanctuary House of Prayer mm -hmm. on 350 North Jog Road, yes. West Palm Beach, mm -hmm. Florida. We would love to see you tonight at mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And Randy Adjaman will bring in the worship, yes. and he will be leading us into the presence of the Lord. Amen. We have um, another pastor that's going to be here with us tonight, yes. Pastor Donna Day, all the way from Gainesville, Florida. I'll be here. We'll yes. be praying for the sick. Uh, we will believe in God for miracles yes. for you. Yes. Please send us a message. We'll be more than glad to pray over your request. Our ministry is a prayer ministry, mm -hmm. and we believe that God will touch you, Amen. and he will give you favor. Amen. Amen. I want to say hello to Pastor Wayne Solomon. Thank you, Pastor Solomon, for coming online to join us, and I'm saying hello to Tina Hayes and um, Rick. God bless all of you for joining us. Yes. Rather unfortunate, we have to go. Um, if you come online, you find this video, make sure you watch to the end and get some information. Like I said, this group is available all over the world, anywhere online. Just search for Apostle Lisa Elliott, Finding Favor, Amazon. Great book, great content. It's going to bless you. And this great man of God that we were just with in hey, Chicago. Hey, Daddy, Pastor Victor Osuten. We it's love you. We love Powerful you. man of God. Oh, man. man he man. is a general. One day I'm I will you. testify. One day. Yes. One day I'm going to testify. And we're getting ready to be with him yes. in Amarillo, Texas. Yes. 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 So, Pastor Victor, we salute you. Yes. And we love you. And we'll be seeing you soon in yes. Amarillo, Texas. Yes. And we will come with the favor of God. You know, you know when I came and you were like, Oh, let me let me iron your shirt. You know what came what came in my heart? I said, Pastor Victor would have killed me. <laughs> I like you allow Apostle Lisa to iron your shirt. Oh my God! I'm a servant. <laughs> we have to remain servants. Said, no, Great leaders are are servants, <laughs> and we need to always be remembered for our service. Yes, thank you so much for joining us, all of you. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. We love you so much. Thank you. We love you so much. May God be with you and may favor locate you and may you begin to walk in favor.